Hey guys, we're going to start off here by showing you the very first step in setting up your lead quote platform. We're only going to look at our vehicle categories right now. This is a really easy setup. Um, all your vehicle categories are listed here. They come over from Limo Anywhere. Um, if you need to add new categories in Limo Anywhere, they will transfer over to our platform. Uh, overnight or you can always hit sync and that'll bring them over immediately um, we uh, right here on our overview we can see our search we can see if it's exposed to the public we'll see the category name if you have any thumbnails of them uh, default rate, we will get into those later but very first step you're going to come into here you're going to hit edit and we're going to set up each vehicle category you're going to decide what description you want to display in the booking widget. This also gets transferred over into the quotes. So if you need to put luxury sedan or, I don't know, Cadillac, anything like that, you can put that in this short description and that will display to the client. Um, from there, we can address our passenger capacity and our luggage capacity as well. Um, we then decide if we allow ourselves. Uh, most of you with sedans, you always want to allow oversell. If you've got a specialty vehicle, you want to restrict that oversell um, because if you're booked already in Limo Anywhere or in our platform, we will restrict uh, that vehicle from being double booked. So if you are not allowing to oversell, you're going to come back here and add in padding time. This is padding before pickup and after drop off. So this is the amount of time to clean, prep, uh, get that vehicle turned around and get it ready for the next trip. That way we do not allow it to be double booked. You know, if it needs to be down for an hour and a half for cleaning, DOT walk around and such, that's really important to put in. From here, um, we can decide if we're going to allow automated quotes. By allowing automated quotes, this will allow a client to get a generated price right on the widget, right on the website. Um, if you're just starting out and you don't trust the rate calculations quite yet, you might not want to allow automated quotes. So instead of getting a client, uh, instead of having a client hit the reserve sedan button with that automated quote, you want to change it just to request quote. And so they can press that request quote button and all their information is going to come over into the system into a CSR or yourself. So you can hit um, quote the client, you can double check the prices and kick them out that quote. Uh, from here, we can only show the amount of vehicles left or a random number. This is just to generate, you know, a little bit of um, uh, uh, motivation for them to go ahead and book, or you don't have to show that. Again, this is displayed in the widget. Um, from here, we decide how long each quote's valid for. You know, depending on your vehicle types, you might want to have uh, longer or shorter time periods. Again, this is to create, uh, you know, a little bit of a, 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 a motivation for them to go ahead and book. We also have actionable events that you can set up either before a quote expires or after it expires. You know, if you want to send follow up your 5% discount, things like that be after it expires or remind the employee to touch base with the client before it expires, you know, that is where this is generated from. Um, we then decide our default price and type. Uh, this can always be adjusted using our rate sheets and our selection factors and our zones later. But this is our default price type. That's if you don't have anything else set up, we're going to be pricing either by hour or by mile most of the time here. So that's all we really have to do on the front page. We'd hit update vehicle category right there and then go on over to our media section. Um, this is where you upload your photos. You can use stock images if you want. Um, if you have specialty vehicles, I highly recommend getting good quality uh, photos in here. We do want at least two photos, and then you want to label each photo of the vehicle. You can do interior, exterior. You can add as many of these as you want here. Some of you have videos or um, image uh, URL uh, or vehicle profile pages. 
we can link to those that way the quotes will link into the vehicle uh, video if you want um, you can always touch base with us and we can instruct you on how to do that if you need help uh, from there we're going to skip over all the price stuff here um, and head on over to att attributes now these are sellable attributes of each vehicle these will be displayed and marketed on the booking widgets if you don't see uh, one that you want in this list feel free to contact us we'll go ahead and add it for you um, that is really about it for getting the vehicle category set up and that is our very first step into getting your lead quote platform uh, going